What's going on everybody? <clears throat> Robinson DUP. How's everybody doing? Uh, I keep getting this question a lot. If you guys follow my Instagram, which you should be because that's where most of my updates go with the time frame that I have. Uh, I put little video clips and progress pics and all kinds of stuff up there. One second. People gotta learn how to drive. Anyway, I keep getting constant, constant questions about my reverse diet and how I did it. Um, because everybody's saying how cut I am. The constant compliment that I'm getting uh, is like, how far out are you from your next show? Like, you know, 12 weeks, 16 weeks, and I'm like, I'm nowhere near a show. Uh, I'm actually four months past show, and uh, I don't have any intentions of stepping on stage again for several years, so I guess that's a good thing that people think that I'm still, like, dieting down even though I'm not. Um, but just to get on the topic, I think it was, was it Critchfield? Somebody on my Instagram was asking me very specific uh, about what I do with my reverse diet in order to maintain my cuts, uh, my striations. I'm going to tell you right now, my goal is not, I'm not worried about keeping my eight pack. I'm not worried about my striations or my cuts. What I'm mainly trying to do is minimize putting on excess fat. Um, fat gain is going to happen during a reverse diet. This thing's all crooked. Um, no matter what. But I'm just trying to minimize it. So that way I... every All the calories I'm taking in, I want some of that to be converted to muscle. Some of that's going to be converted to fat. But I just don't want to do excess body fat. Because I don't know how many of you have seen. But a lot of competitors, they'll be diced one day. And like two weeks later, it almost looks like they've, they're almost back to where they were started to diet down uh, and that's not something I wanted to do and with some of the top-notch bodybuilders especially the natural bodybuilders you'll see months after they're still very very lean um, because they know how to reverse diet so with the reverse dieting I know it sucks you kind of want to just go back to eating how you want but with a little bit of patience and a little bit of discipline it'll take you a long way um, and then in several months you'll be eating more food than than you're used to uh, and still maintain a later lighter body weight so when I finished my prep week, uh, leading into my bodybuilding show, um, one, I was still maintaining one, one day a week, usually a Saturday for a high carb refeed where I was over 400 grams of carbs. But during peak week prior to the show, I was probably around, if I recall, about 150 grams of carbs a day, workout or off day, it didn't matter, it remained the same before the, the, the refeed before the show. So I was around that. After my show was over and my season was done, I did have a very gluttonous meal uh, at like a Quaker Steak and Lube or whatever it is, um, where I ate a ton of crap, basically. I just had a nice big old burger, I had some mozzarella sticks, I had a dessert. I didn't lose, uh, you know, one ounce of sleep over eating that. The next day I was right back on my diet. And what we did immediately, um, we went from 150 grams of carbs, if I recall correctly, to about 185 grams of carbs. We made a 35 gram jump immediately. Um, and with that, I actually dropped about another pound and a half to two pounds because my thyroid started to kick into gear. Um, and I was very, very hungry, I'm not gonna lie. You know, once you start to feed your body, it, it's, you know, it's a mental game as to not to binge because now your metabolism is kicking and you want food and you feel hungry. So. We did 185, I think, uh, a week or two later. We shot up about another 10 grams or so. And we usually did about 10 gram increases from week to week for a little while. Um, and then there was a point where we started making 20 gram jumps, probably around December. Sorry guys, this damn road, um, that's even worse. But, um, I would say about 10 grams, 10 grams of carbs a week was the, pretty much the norm for a while. Um, and my body weight held pretty steady. Um, so went through the holidays, everything else. I got up to 285 grams of carbs, as if you were watching my Back to Bulking series, you would know. Um, I held that probably for a good three to four weeks. Um, my body weight was stable. We just let it adjust. I had a lot of things going on in terms of how often I could train. Um, also, if you watched some of my previous videos, you know what was going on with that. And my body weight has stabilized pretty much around 185 pounds. Um, that's where I've been holding. And then recently, John did another 20 gram jump up to 305 grams of carbs on a training day. And so far, so good. My body weight has stayed stable. I'm still, you know, hanging around 185, 186 on any given day. 
So that has worked out pretty well. Now in terms of the cardio that everybody keeps asking about, uh, I did do cardio for a little while after the show, but it was not every day. Um, it was probably maybe in total an hour for the week. Uh, it was somewhere, I think, around two hit sessions around 15 to 20 minutes and maybe one or two miss sessions around 20 minutes. That was it. Um, and as my body was really stabilizing, and in fact, as I was dropping weight, John started to scale the cardio back immediately. Uh, and I would say probably by the beginning of November or right around Thanksgiving, we cut out cardio completely. Uh, I haven't done any treadmill, I haven't done any elliptical, I haven't done any bike, I haven't done any hit, I haven't done any miss. I haven't done any of that. Um, I hate cardio. I hate straight cardio. It's not something I have any patience for. Um, if anything, I just do escalating density training or supersets to pick up the volume to get some sort of cardiovascular activity in. And that's really about it, guys. There's really no secret to this. It's really just slowly over time increasing your caloric intake, giving your body enough time to adjust before making the next jump. Um, and really just looking, it's really a mirror test to see, a mirror test and scale test to see what your body's doing. So that's why I look the way I do. There's really no incredible science behind it. It's not that difficult. It's just a lot of trial and error. And once again, if you're interested in something like this, I do recommend spending a couple extra dollars on somebody who's knowledgeable uh, in the area, such as my coach, John Garifano and learn how to do these reverse diets or dieting down properly and then learning how to reverse out properly. Um, I suggest spending more money on somebody like that than the supplements which aren't doing jack diddly shit for you. So if you have any other further questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll talk to you guys later.